my friends. It's Sherry. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel and welcome to Thrifty Thursday. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, if you'd like to participate in Thrifty Thursday, everyone's welcome. Just show, show any thrifty goodie, no matter where it's from or what you tend to do with it. You know what I mean? It doesn't even have to be junk journal related. Uh, uh, you know, Walmart, Dollar Tree, there's all thrifty finds everywhere, right? So, and just use the hashtag thrifty Thursday in your title, link my channel, subscribe to my channel. That's most important. And let people know that, you know, when you do a video, how to participate and send them over to, to my channel if you don't mind and have them subscribe to my channel. So, uh, yes, what do I have for you today? Probably mostly is some scrapbook paper. And I might have, should be able to show you more if I don't, if this doesn't take up the whole amount of time but um you know i think most people so i don't know if anyone still has a tuesday morning probably there's some somewhere a tuesday morning out there somewhere still i don't know if you have a tuesday morning still open in your area comment and let me know <laughs> in the description in the comments but uh, uh we had two tuesday mornings and they were even open like longer than a lot of people said there's closed you know a year or two ago and ours was opened till just like a month ago you know it just closed but for the last uh, probably four months, I probably went four or five months ago the last time, and that's when pretty much I got the last bunch of scrapbook paper that they had uh, and that I liked. I, they, they, I didn't get it all because I didn't like it all, but I got the ones that I like, you know, at a good price, a very good price, and they were discounted because of they were closing. But then I was like, Ugh. you know, I mean, I have plenty of scrapbook paper. Don't get me wrong, but... Uh, I was like, you know, I love scrap of paper, <laughs> and I'm trying to use a lot of it. I am using a lot of it. I really am. So I decided to check out Echo Parks. I think it's Echo Park. These are all Echo Park. Uh, Echo Parks Warehouse Sale. And I had, I think I have heard people talking about it for a couple of years now. I was like, how do you get on, get in on this warehouse sale? Where where is this? <laughs> So finally, so I heard somebody say it. It's online. So, you know, they have a website. So I checked it out. And sure enough, it's been going on all summer, a lot, last month or so anyway. And so I checked it out and I got some scrapbook paper kits. And I really like the kits. I also like scrapbook paper. So it depends on what you, what kind of scrapbook paper you want because the kits come with stickers and it's cardstock and it's double sided. So it just depends on what kind of scrapbook paper you want. But they have other things. They have 6x6 six six and they have the ephemera par packs. And they've kind of been going through. Um, I got on their email list, of course. And so they're sending me email. Or no, they're sending me texts now. And and email. No, I don't think it's emails. I think it's just texts. And uh, they say what's on sale in their warehouse, warehouse sale that week like one week it was um six by six and i don't really buy six by six paper pads because i can cut a 12 by 12 into a six by six so i don't mess with a six by six even though i have a few i need to use so let's let me show you what i got uh, they had a lot to choose from so it wasn't like they didn't have much they had tons to choose from so they would have um probably even still have a lot of what variety of what you might want but uh, this one is autumn, and I think I got two of these because I liked, I guess, because I liked them so much, <laughs> and I like the colors. Like, there's a lot of autumn ones on there, but this one had, see this color here, and just like, I'm gonna open it up, and I'll show you in a second. But I'll just show you the colors. I'll open it up and show you what's in each kit. That's what I thought might take this whole video if I open every one of these and show you what's in there. It might take the whole video, so that's why I said this might be. We might just go through these today, but um, so this is a Perfect Autumn by Lori Whitlock, Echo Park, and this is a kit, what they consider a kit. So it's got this cover page, which is just you know usually just a throwaway piece. But I might cut this out here, this piece here, and try to save that. You could probably fussy cut some of these things too. I mean, look at that little bear and the little owl. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Cut fussy cut some of those. And then the paper just looks gorgeous in these two. So let's just flip through real quick. This is trees. On the back you got this plaid pattern. And so, yeah, trees. I don't know if they repeat, we'll see. We've got flowers and all kind of fall items here. 
acorns, mushrooms, very pretty fall colors. Oh, and don't we love this gingham? Yes, we do. <laughs> and of course they all coordinate, so that's always a good thing about getting a paper pad or a kit like this. We've got leaves of all, I love this turquoise color in here. I mean, my name is Turquoise Dreaming, so, you know. <laughs> oh, wood. We've got wood on the back. Wood paneling, it looks like. Wood grain, that's cool. A good background for something. This is pretty. We've got the brown with the flowers on it. Oh, it makes the flowers pop really cute. And they're small, kind of like calico. We've got leaves there. All different colors, and there's some, some of those turquoise leaves in there. Little foxes. Very cute. And polka dots. And, oh, I love this one too. It's got the little turquoise truck, little squirrel, and all the little autumn sayings here. Crisp air, count your blessings. Um, let's see. In all things, give thanks. Family. So cute. Fall memories. Happy harvest. So stinking cute. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I love this one. And it has turquoise owls. You could say that's aqua too. But really cute, look at all those little eyeballs. <laughs> so adorable. And we've got this kind of a houndstooth pattern, very light on orange on orange. Cute. And then we have stripes. And see, they have the turquoise color running throughout this, this uh, paper, this paper. There's turquoise words in here, or aqua. They're more of aqua. So pretty. All the words. Pumpkin farm, bonfires, autumn days are here again. <laughs> oh, these are cute too. Pumpkins with all kinds of patterns. I mean, there's some solids and then some patterns, like a little flowered pumpkin. So something like this, I have like fussy cut these out before. Not this particular one, but there was one last year. That I fussy cut some of the little, I think it was pumpkins. I fussy cut them out, but I do love it as a whole too. So I probably, and I have plenty of them right now, so I probably would not fussy cut this. But anyway, that would be fun if you wanted to fussy cut, because I don't mind fussy cutting really. Uh, some nice journaling cards, and these are, uh, so, well, it's not solid, but it's a pattern on the back that is not, you know, it's more of a background. And then you have the pretty side on this side with whatever is on it hoodies hot cocoa boots blue jeans crisp air it's fall so all oh, they're good um let me try to go up and down here so you can see because i know it all doesn't fit especially when i pick it up right and here is bigger these are a little bit bigger those are like three by four and this one is four by six approximately so these are bigger, and this has on the back, oh, this has a pretty turquoise aqua pattern, or color and pattern on the back of this one. And here, here are these, four by six ones. Let me show you. This one next has an index card on it with a truck and two little banners. Isn't that cute? So that gives you an idea of how to decorate, how you can decorate an index card. But um, yeah, these are great. Great. And you can add to these. You can add a little tab or a piece of fabric or something if you want, or use them just as they are, in case you've never used anything like that before. Now, this is pretty. You could cut this up. I used to cut the strips up. Like, this is not total strips, like, not definite strips. Like, here's a banner in between these two strips. Oh, there's a little tab right there. But anyway, when I used to get strips, I always thought I had to cover, cut them up, but then I was like I got tired of that I just had too many strips <laughs> so I just was like I'm just using this as a page and I just like fold it and cut it down to whatever size I need but this is kind of burgundy-ish kind of a burnt burgundy not really orange though yeah kind of like brownish burgundy-ish it's got polka dots on it in case you can't see that and it even has some like like it's worn here see that worn areas so very cool so that's that one. Oh, wait a minute. We didn't get everything. Yeah, here's the stickers. There's always a lot of, like, even this, though this is just one sticker sheet, there's tons of stickers on these sticker sheets. I'm sure you've seen them before. But here's what's on this one. Squirrels, raccoon, squirrel, fox, 
owl, you know, all the things. So cute. And here's some strips down here. So that is that one. Okay, let's put this one back. And I won't put it back in its package right now. Here's the package. And so that was that one. And this one. These two are the same. Apparently, I really like that one. <laughs> and then I got three more. So that's why I thought, you know, this could take up the whole video. Because... I really like to show you, and I, I kind of like they look. I like to look at them too, don't I? Yes, I do. I like to look at them too. So there's the package. Okay, so let's see. Here's the cover page again. It's a piece of paper, thick paper. I wonder. You know, if you do a junkie journal, that could be go. If you do a junkie junk journal, you could use this as a page. Yep, you sure could. Or even if you just want to put something junky in your journal. It's not even really junky, but it's, you know, a lot of people would throw that away. So that's why I'm saying it's junky. Anyway, uh, there are some turquoise bits in here, greenish-bluish type things. So, again, this one's called Happy Fall. Of course, they're all by Echo Park. So this one's Happy Fall. The other one was A Perfect Autumn. So, again, with the leaves, burgundy-ish, a different. This has got, like, stripes, but they're, like, dot dotted stripes. Little tiny dots, and then here's all the leaves on this, on this side. Oh, we're already to the, they put the, the journaling cards in front on this one. Okay, so here's the journaling cards. Ooh, I like this one with all the words. Very pretty. What's on the back? Oh, that's got a pretty pattern on the back. Nice orangey brown, like a dark orange kind of auburn type thing. Pretty, very pretty. Love those. Yes. And then acorns and leaves again, but different. I'm sure they're different. I'm not going to try to compare them, though. That would take too long. <laughs> I just wanted to be like I'm almost out of the reason I ordered these is because they were on sale for one thing. They're like double normally the price I paid. For the warehouse sale, it was like 50% off, so it's a good sale. It was like Tuesday morning prices. That's what I thought when I when I looked at the sale. I was like, oh, well, it's like Tuesday morning prices. There you go. There's my Tuesday morning. I'll just <clears throat> wait for Echo Park's warehouse sale every year. <clears throat> or a 50% off sale at, um, I've got 50% off at, well, it was buy one, get one 50% off at Hobby Lobby. When I got some scrapbook paper there. And so, yeah, there's ways around when uh, Tuesday morning, if your Tuesday morning has closed and you're used to getting the great deals on scrapbook paper, there you go. Wait for Hobby Lobby sale. Of course, Michael's has their $5 sale once in a while. They're on their paper, pa paper pads. And then Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby has their sales. Oh, that's pretty. That's different from the other one. I like that. I love, I love the colors. I love all the colors. Colors, I don't say it like that. I'm just joking around. Okay, leaves again. Oh, these are pretty. I like the dark background. It makes the leaves pop. Very pretty. I love the orange leaves on there. Kind of almost like, like they want to jump off the page. Like they're iridescent or something. Those yellow ones. <clears throat> really pretty. Different shades of greens and turquoises and aqu aquas there. Very pretty. And the back of this one is all kind of aqua, aqua turquoisey with dots, flowers, very pretty, and a white background. And these are leaves on a burgundy background. Very muted, but very pretty. Here's the 4 by 6 uh, journey, journaling cards in this one. Cut aparts. I love that turquoise pumpkin. I guess that's... Maybe that's my favorite color. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> leaves. Oh, these are pretty ones. They're like blowing in the wind. See the little dots? Like, it looks like they're blowing in the wind. So pretty. Oh, and this one's all the, all the, all the things. All the words and the little things. The bears and the foxes. Here's a little hedgehog. So cute. 
I'm just moving it around because I know my 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 frame is not picking, can't pick up the whole thing, so I'm moving it around. So you can see, oh, another four by six. Is it the same as the other one? Hold on. Let us see. Let us see real quick here. Where are they? Oh, these are vertical and these are horizontal. Okay, cool. That's different. You have options: horizontal or vertical. Here's a bunny. Autumn days are here again. The trees in a line. That's so cute truck full of pumpkins and the back is leaves oh little tiny leaves everywhere and acorns that is beautiful beautiful of course we have to have a plaid in there see I didn't want to order they had a paper pad or a pack or whatever full all of plaid I didn't want to order all you know just all plaid I've done that before and I kind of like how do I use up all this plaid <laughs> with so much plaid so it's nice to have just a plaid here and there, not like a whole paper pad full of plaid. So this is kind of like wood grain over here. Patterned trees again with some solid ones. Oh, this one has polka dots on it. This one's solid here. This one's solid. But look at the little patterns. I think that's so cute. You can make that with fabric. You can make little trees. Just get out your fabric and cut these little tree shapes and then draw a little tree trunk on it. That would be fun, wouldn't it? I think that would be pretty easy. I might have to try that. I don't know. To get my get my gumption up to cut out some trees out of my fabric scraps. That would be fun though, I think. If I could if I could cut some trees out, tree shapes. These are pretty pumpkins and there's little leaves and acorns in between and some little like specks. Very pretty. I like these dark ones. Very cute. And is that the, oh, here's the stickers. Okay, let's see what that, what's on the stickers. A cute little deer. Even a little acorn sticker. Little tiny acorn. Friends giving, you know, friends. They had friends giving on friends. That's cute. They have that now in Echo Park. <laughs> friends giving sticker. Here's a little banner. There's the hedgehog. There's a pattern tree. It's already cut out. I mean, it's a sticker. So it's basically cut out for you. There's another one. It's like you can look at this all day because you see something different every time you look at these. All right here is tiny little leaf stickers and a flower sticker. It's funny when you look. I've done this before. I know. I was like, oh, I didn't realize that was on there. You know what I mean? This is cute. Okay, so somebody came in. I had to pause there for a second. I think my time is almost up. Could that be? I'm not sure. I, I think I'm going to have to end there. We looked at two in, in 30 minutes. I'm not sure. My, wait a minute. Let me look at my... You know what? I think it's it's uh, going in fast. Like I had looked, watched a video. And I have my timer up there now. And now it's on... Um, I had it like on double time. And now it's still on double time. So yeah, we have time. Okay, I'm going to keep going. <laughs> I know because I've done that before. I'm like, my time is up already? And then I end the video, I'm like, oh, it was only 15 minutes uh, because I had my uh, had my video my, that I was watching on Double Time. Okay, so I'm opening up another pack. We finished that previous one with the stickers. This one is Farmhouse Living. I thought this would be good for autumn or, you know, any type of, uh, you know, if I want to do a farm journal. So Farmhouse Living. Oh, this was Cardabella. Hmm. I did not know. I didn't realize. I thought they were all Echo Park. But I got it from the Echo Park warehouse sale. Here's the little, let me put it over here and go this way. So let's see what's in here. This paper feels different. Oh, this is really different. This is, let's see, that's two pieces. This is so different, I can't even describe it to you. It feels like a linen paper. I guess that's the best way I can describe it. And the other paper, let me feel the other paper again. Yeah, it's a different, smoother paper. And this is more of a textured paper, like a linen paper. Very, I didn't, had no idea. I, I've had Cardabella before, I thought, but because I've got all the different brands. I think um, Tuesday morning had Cardabella. I don't know. Maybe I haven't, but this was this is different, so really cool. We've got florals here and pretty red stripes, like almost like ticking on this side, red ticking. And these journal cards are adorable. Oh my goodness, look, here's a recipe. With a little lady in the background tasting her food. Front porch rules. 
Oh, these are so cute. Farm fresh eggs. I'm kind of a pig deal. A rooster. Farm sweet farm. Let's see what's on the other side. All the cooking things. So it's cooking and farm, farm, what's it called? Farmhouse living. Okay. So cute. And you know, it's hard to see, to see all the things, all the patterns when you went online. So, or even if it's in the store, it's like, you, know, you look at those little pieces they have on the cover and it's like, yeah, I like the colors and it looks like it's going to be good. So these are little teapots and things like that. Teacups. So adorable. There's a little like chicken or hen on the on a dish there, and this side is pretty blue, like light blue plaid. And then all the words with all the little chickens and pigs and things, rooster and hen, little geese and a baby goose, sheep, and then all the words, farm girl, crazy chicken lady. <laughs> And this side is pretty stripes colors. And here's all the farm animals, just like on the cover of the book that I was showing you a week or so ago, my Thrifty Thursday. So here's all the farm animals. Oh my goodness, so cute. I love the goat. <laughs> so adorable. I love the chickens. We had chickens and goats, so... We don't have many more, but I'm partial to chickens and goats. And so, orange and white gingham there. Love that. Any gingham, any gingham I love. And this is full of hens and roosters. All the colors. So pretty. This paper feels amazing. I wonder how it folds. We will find out. Probably, unless I cut it in half and use it like that. But it's like a honeycomb, red honeycomb. Oh, this is a chicken wire. This is chicken wire. That is cool. Red with chicken wire. It looks like honeycomb, but it's chicken, it's chicken wire. It has little, see the wires? Cool. I, I had no idea that they had chicken wire scrapbook paper. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, here's all the animals again. And they have what they say on them. Moo, ba, oink, ch, cluck, cluck, <laughs> cluck, cluck. Oh my goodness, so cute. That, I love all the colors. Oh, what's on the back? Green plaid. And then here's a pretty yellow, golden yellow. Very beautiful. And the side is flowers. So like something like that could be in any journal. Oh, look at this. What is this? Country Fair Recipes. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. How are we going to decide? There's cut aparts over here. So like, what is that? Four by four. There's a little recipe card, but if you cut out four by four right there, you're cutting like that. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be hard. How could it do this to me? This is so cute. If I keep it as a whole, like cut it in half or, or fold it in half, it would look like this. I think I'm gonna have to use this as a whole and not cut apart. That's what I'm gonna do, because there's no way I'm cutting this up. This is way too cute. So that's staying together. Wood grain, just like on my table, look. <laughs> and a whole farm scene here, so this would be good for the middle of a journal. You could fold the bottom part and um, have this as the middle and fold this, you know, fold this down and have pockets over here. That would be cute. And I think if it looked like it was upside down too much, I would cut it and then turn it around and turn it right side up. I've been doing that lately. So things are upside down. But there's that one. Green and white gingham. So we've got plenty of gingham. I didn't buy a whole... I was tempted to also buy a whole gingham paper set, but I didn't. And so I've got my... i got quite a bit of gingham in, in these paper pads already. So here's a pretty floral. Kind of little tiny flowers. Oh, these are vegetables. Carrots and cabbage. And peppers and eggplant. Very cute. And it's got that orange background like a carrot. And this one, uh, yeah, you could cut these up if I want to. Yeah. Oh, look at the corny. <laughs> so cute. Look at the rooster. 
country kitchen right here so adorable the stack of teacups right there like a sign here direct from farm to you farm fresh wisconsin churned butter i like the corny <laughs> okay and the stickers okay all the things oh measuring cups those are cute all the things apron mixer salt and pepper there's little flowers scattered around that you can use banners so all the things super cute okay let's see where are we so it was like this <clears throat> so let's turn it back over and we got one more I have no idea what time it is now uh, so hopefully my camera will hold up it looks like we're still going so we got one more Wow so this one's called Farmer's Market Open Daily. I mean, these two farmers, you know, market ones, of course, even some of the fall ones can be used in any journal. You know what I mean? In a little golden book or whatever, just the pretty colors and things. So it's not like you just have to use these in a farm journal. I mean, you, I'm sure you know that, but I'm just saying, don't get hung up. You don't have to get hung up on a theme. So there's the paper. Beautiful flowers and a green background. This has leaves on it. And then these are 4x4 four four again. Very pretty. Home is where the herd is. Life's little moments make the best memories. Happiness is homemade. And then this side. Oh, this is pretty. I like this. So, yeah. These would be okay to cut apart. Because, you know, you just get a piece of this back here. Look at the colander. That's cute. And a little pot holder glove. All the little utensils and the scale. Mixing bowls. Very cute. Oh, look at this. Seed packets. That's so pretty. Oh, my word. Those are so cute. <laughs> that just blew me away. This is so cute. It's got a red background. little design on there. But these are so, I want you to see these, they're so cute, and all the colors, carrots, flowers, radish, cucumbers, onions, uh, peppers, tomatoes, all the things, so cute, wow, that's awesome, scales, that's cute, and it's got a pile of whatever on the top of it, apples and flowers, <laughs> I like the one with the flowers on it, that's cute, very pretty. Look at the turquoise scale. Or aqua. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. Okay, I'll move on. <laughs> uh, three by four journaling cards. I'll try to show them all to you so you can see. In case you go on there. Oh, I like this one. Cluck Oink Moo. And the background is the gingham blue and white or aqua. Life is better on the farm. So cute. And this has pastries on the back. Or there's bread on a cake stand. Or little breads and pies and things. Like a little Danish or something there. All the colors. Of the cake stands. I like the pink. I like the pink cake stands. Those are pretty. It's all pretty though. Okay, next. Uh, the truck with the oil. No, not oil. <laughs> Hello. It's a windmill. Why did I say oil? That's so weird. Okay. Farm. A barn with a windmill. <laughs> I've been watching too much TV or something. Oh my goodness. And I don't even watch anything with oil on it. So, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. Anyway, on we go. Oh, here's some different shaped uh, little cut aparts some smaller ones like this oh this can be a tag they have a, a little angle here so these are tags here this size vertical and horizon horizontal and vertical I must be getting tired <laughs> uh, some little ones down here so those are cute like little tickets and on the back we have uh, this check black and white like farmhouse check cool oh, these 
these are really adorable mason jars like with a fabric lid tied on and they're all different colors made with love it says on that one and here's a little blue and white gingham one a little flowery one so cute on the back is flowers so pretty flowers and yellow or golden yellow and white gingham so pretty and the four by six cut aparts are all horizontal but look at this one recipe card not a recipe card a recipe card those are really cute i love the recipe cards i wish they were all recipe cards kind of you know on the back oh my goodness cows and chickens so cute <laughs> Those are adorable. Oh my goodness, look at this. Wow, this is a nice one. This was, what was this called? Let me tell you, Farmer's Market. It's on the bottom right here, <laughs> Farmer's Market. But yeah, Echo Park. It's echopark.com or something like that where you go to get these. I'll try to link it below. If I don't, just remember, search echopark.com. But these are canisters. Flour, sugar, coffee, tea. And they'll have little flowers or these look like lemons on the sugar. <laughs> I don't know. Do they look like lemons? I'm not sure. But very pretty canisters. And on the back is little little like berries. That's a pretty, really pretty pink. Okay, and then here little uh pails and these right here. And these right here, like a milk bucket almost, milk canister, and this little carrying case or whatever. Very cute. It says Farmer's Market. There's the lemons again. <laughs> they look like lemons. Teapot. Okay, and then the stickers on this one. This is so thick it feels like two pieces. Oh, there's little seed packets. Cute. And there's the canisters and everything that you see in the in the scrapbook paper. Now you get a sticker of it too. Little the oil. No, I'm joking, it's the windmill. <laughs> Another um, mason jar. The mixing bowls. You know you got a button and little flowers. You get all these little things here. It says date. This is a strip down here. There's a barn so very cute so yep we, we did it we looked at them all I hope you enjoyed uh, my Echo Park uh, sale pieces like I said they are all 50% off so you can't beat that really um, it, it's, it's Tuesday morning prices that's what pretty much what I paid at Tuesday morning so there you go so anyway I hope you enjoyed I'll see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe like and comment and um, I'll see you in my next video have a great day